Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Human Beings Entertainment News. Today I have so much tea. Let's start with Davido and Chioma. Are they back together? As most Nigerians already know, Davido is Chioma's boo. Okay? That's official. That's a fact. However, their relationship is complicated. Davido was recently seen with this IG model. Her name is Ama Reginald. Things seemed serious between the two. I mean, they did all the serious lovey dovey stuff, they followed each other on Instagram, they even met one another's families. Anyway, it's alleged that Chioma sent her boo a DM and he unfollowed Amara. I'm not surprised. If you don't know, let me catch you up to this tea. Davido and Chioma got engaged some time back. He even dedicated his hit single Assurance to her. Unfortunately, Obio could not keep it in his pants. He kept on giving anyone the D. He could not stand strong. And the pair broke up. After a while, he was seen with Ama. But then again, it seems like he wants that old tongue back. And you know what? I don't blame him. Davido and Chioma have a child together, and it makes sense for them to get back together. Not only do they have chemistry, these two also have history. I hope that they find their way back to each other. I hope that Davido finds a way to stand strong. Ama is a beautiful woman and at least she got to enjoy her life with Davido. But I don't think this is anything serious. I don't think it's heading anywhere because it seems like he decided to go back to his old Bhutan. And these two love each other. It's almost apparent and it just, to me, I'm rooting for them because I think they belong together. I know it sounds sappy, but I hope Davido can keep it in his pants so that they can go back together. Moving on to our next topic. Let's talk about Omale and his cover art for his new album. Have you listened to the new album? I really like it. It's called Boy Alone. My favorite song right now is I'm a Mess. And there's another one. I think it's called... Um, what's this song called? Bend You. Oh, how could I forget? Now, as much as I love this album, I have an issue with the cover art. I feel like Omale copied Young Thug's album cover art. There's this album by Young Thug. It's called So Much Fun. I'll attach the picture. And if you look at it, the cover art is almost similar. The only difference is the color. The concept is entirely copied and that's a bit discouraging. It's like Omale doesn't even care, which is disturbing because Omale is a great artist and a great artist is an all-around artist. He's also entering the international scene. I mean, he has performed with great artists like Justin Bieber and he's about to get a lot more attention and such silly and tiny errors can make him look funny. I mean, I'm side eyeing him right now. Moving on to South Africa. Is Nota obsessed with Milali? South African Twitter went up in flames because of some strange comments Nota made about Milali Ndamase. Nota, who is always slandering Milali, said that women in South Africa, he mentioned Milali and Sin Buji, deserve to be K-I-L-L-E-D for preferring men with money. Thankfully, South Africans took to Twitter, and this is what they had to say. Milali is a gorgeous girl. No wonder Nota is so obsessed with her. And I agree, because Nota has been going at her for so many years. Someone else said, Nota going after Milali unprovoked reminds me of Piers Morgan constantly after Meghan Markle. Typical incel unhinged behavior. And we keep brushing it off, as if these sentiments do not lead up to dead and injured women. Nota defended himself by saying, I'm a wealthy, handsome, and dedicated man. Any woman becomes a giant at my side. <laughs> you are in my comments because blah, blah, blah. I can't even finish reading it. And someone told him, Berita, who, is, who was his wife for one year, was far ahead before you, and she still is after you, which is true. Berita is a, is a musician. She sings Afro soul, and she was doing well before Nota, and she's doing well after her. Someone else said that at this rate, I think Nota is capable of stalking Milali and fulfilling the fantasy of seeing her dead. She should open a case against these subtle yet loud threats. Again, I agree. <laughs> Listen, I feel like that was a very strong sentiment, a very dangerous sentiment to share. Nota basically said that he thinks Milali Ndamase and Sinbuji should be killed because they like money, which I, I don't understand the correlation. Anyway, 
thank you for watching this video please please like share and subscribe i'm looking to get to 100 subscribers please join me in this journey also check out these other videos bye